free body diagrams. We introduced the idea of a free body diagram a while back when we were talking about net force. We're going to go into a little bit more detail about it here. A free body diagram is a drawing that physicists use in order to show all the forces acting on an object. Drawing the free body diagram can help when trying to solve for unknown forces or showing the motion on an object. There's a good video here that um, if you can click on the link in your notebook, you can have a, a review of free body diagrams and the normal force. Earlier on, when we were talking about net force, we introduced the idea of a free body diagram. At that point, we just drew one to give you an idea of what net forces were all about and how to add them. We now want to go through and give you a bit of a recipe for drawing free body diagrams. First of all, draw a dot to represent the body in question. Once you've drawn a dot, begin drawing lines with arrows to represent each of the force vectors. Start with the first one, and once you've drawn that one, be sure and label it with um, the name of the force. In this case, it's weight. We've written mg. Notice that it's pointing in the downward direction. We're going to repeat this for every force that is acting on the object. Try to draw each of the force arrows to roughly the same scale. That means the bigger the force, the bigger the arrow, and the smaller the force, the smaller the arrow. When you've finished your free body diagram, check it to make sure you've drawn and labeled an arrow for every force and that all of the forces are pointing in the di right direction. This is no time to get it wrong. Next, draw a separate arrow next to your free body diagram to indicate the likely direction of the acceleration of your object. This will help you use your free body diagram effectively when you're trying to work through your uh, equations involving acceleration and force. Repeat this process for every object in the system that you're looking at. Let's do an example. Draw the free body diagram for a cat sitting on a chair. Let's draw a little picture of the chair and our cat. The cat uh, can also be described as a free body, which is just a dot. And if you look at this, there are a couple of forces acting on the cat. First of all, gravity is pulling down on the cat. So the cat is, has a weight, the force of gravity. That's one of the forces pulling, pulling on the cat. But the cat isn't moving. The cat has zero velocity, and in fact, it's not accelerating either. So there's an opposite force, which is equal, which, as we've described before, is the normal force. So here are our two forces acting on our cat. And to complete the picture, we express the acceleration, usually with a vector, but in this case, because there is no acceleration, just with the, the little statement that A equals zero.